Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to compare the Black Rapid Sport to the Peak Design Slide. Which strap is right for you? We're going to begin by talking about the Black Rapid Sport. I purchased it myself around five or six years ago, and I believe I paid around $75 for it. Since I purchased mine, they did make one significant change to it. They changed the material that is against your body. It's now a kind of nylon mesh, and they claim it's more breathable, and I suppose it doesn't soak up sweat quite as readily. I didn't really find a problem with the Black Rapid Sport in that regard. And otherwise, the new version is identical to mine. What I like most about the Black Rapid Sport is that it conforms to my body very nicely and it mounts to the camera via a 1 quarter by 20 fastener that goes onto the bottom tripod mount of the camera. Now, you could buy an extra fastener for another camera or in case you lose this one for $25. Now, if you like to hike and carry a tripod along with you at the same time, uh, you're going to have to remove this fastener to attach your tripod plate. Black Rapid does sell a couple different Arca Swiss style compatible tripod plates. Kind of pricey though. The smaller one is around $45 and the larger one is around $55. They do have another alternative. They sell a 1 quarter by 20 screw that is meant for replacing the screw that's in your existing tripod plate. I actually did purchase that, but it didn't work with my Vanguard plates that I was using at that time. Black Rapid states that the sport strap is their best selling strap. And if you purchase one, be aware that you have to get the correct model. I'm wearing the right-handed model and it's formed and fitted to go over my left shoulder with the camera on my right hip. If you prefer, you could buy the left-handed model and of course it's reversed with uh, going over your right shoulder and the camera's on your left hip. And that kind of segues into my biggest complaint about the sport strap. I've worn it for up to six hours at one time and I've used it with a very long and heavy lens. And to tell you the truth, after a while it starts getting tiring and it hurts your shoulder. And I would have liked to have flipped it around to the other shoulder for a little while just to kind of even it out a little bit. And you really can't do that with the Black Rapid Sport. Also, a minor complaint, I mentioned I use it sometimes with a very long lens, and it hangs very low on my hip. Hopefully you could see this in the video. This is as high as I could make it, and when you have a very long lens on, when you're walking, you're kicking it around a lot, and it's kind of, you know, bouncing around. So I don't really care for that as much either. Next, we'll talk about the Peak Design Slide Strap. I purchased this myself a few months ago. I think I paid around $65 for it. And what prompted me to buy it is I was at a trade show and I saw all the Peak Design product and it really piqued my interest. <laughs> and I decided to pick it up. I thought it was a really, really nicely made strap. What I really like about the strap is its versatility. I could wear it as a sling on either hip, or if I want, I could just kind of pull it off and put it on my shoulder or wear it like a conventional strap. One side of the strap has a grippy surface so that if I am wearing it just on one shoulder like that, you put that grippy surface down and it really stays secure. Or if you're wearing it as a conventional strap, you keep that uh, grippy surface down as well. If you're wearing it as a sling, they recommend that you switch it around the other way. And then you have the grippy surface up, and then that way you could easily slide, and that's why they call it the slide, up to take your photo. Um, also, it's really super easy to adjust. It's just what they call this one finger adjust method. They have a little clip here, and you could just pull on it and push it down to make it longer or up to bring it shorter. And you're able to bring the camera much higher up compared to the uh, Black Rapid strap. So I do like that feature as well. The strap mounts to the camera via two anchor links. One is on the side of the camera and the other is at the bottom of the camera and it's mounted with this little 
fastener that is screwed in with a one quarter by 20 screw. And this is what kind of bugs me. The screw itself uses a hex key. And I really wish they would have made that slotted so you could just use a coin to tighten it up. Instead, it's a hex key and they do give you a little nylon bag, if I could find it. And in the nylon bag, you get the hex key to adjust uh, or to attach that bottom plate and you get two, of, two extra nylon anchors. So you could put those on a second camera or just have them as backup for your existing uh, anchors. Now they claim that those anchors could hold 200 pounds. Um, that is probably the main worry I have about the strap because it is really thin, really thin material. But I was uh, reading around and I did my research and I really didn't see any instances of these failing, at least nothing that I could see. So, uh, you know, they may be onto something and they, and they are very easy to uh, detach. You could just pull the strap off very easily. Uh, it just kind of snaps in there. So it's very quick uh, to take the strap off, put it back on, or to switch it to a different camera. Now, like the Black Rapid strap, when you have this bottom little plate on, if you want to use a tripod, you're going to have to remove it. They do sell two Arca Swiss compatible tripod plates as well. Uh, the, the smaller one is, I think, $20, if I remember correctly. And then the larger one, is 25 and the larger one also will work not only with Arca Swiss style heads but with Manfrotto CR2 heads as well. Now their tripod plates have slots in them so you could use them with the anchors and mount it on the tripod at the same time and the slots are configured in such a way where the anchors won't get in the way. You could buy a replacement set of anchors for 10 bucks, a set of four, so they aren't very expensive at all. The bottom line is you can't go wrong with either strap. For me, the Peak Design strap is a little bit more comfortable and versatile, but those nylon connections still bother me a little bit. And I think the uh, fastener, uh, the one quarter by 20 fastener that Black Rapid uses is a little bit more secure. Thank you everyone for watching my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.